Hello YouTube, this is the uh, third update on my little uh, engage layout. So uh, I've done quite a bit since uh, the last video, just tried to squeeze a bit in in the evenings after work. Um, the big difference at the moment is the uh, the back scene, I um, picked it up from Hattons, I think it's uh, ID back scenes. Um, I think you get about 10 feet for about 12 quid. So uh, I mean this first part here I was happy with but um go over to this corner here it didn't quite work out right but I'm going to fill it in I'm going to stick a tall tree there or something to fill it in but overall I'm quite happy with it um down here I've just uh, made the ground a bit uneven on the board there um just using decorator's cork and um on the back here to create the rockery I've just basically put a piece of half inch polystyrene against the uh, the boards and again I've just used decorator's cork and just uh, smudged it in using a little uh, scraper um, again if you remember from the last video because I'm a window fitter I go through tubes of this stuff and uh, I found that it's great for making rockery and uneven ground with so that's what I've used I mean down this end here where I've put the tunnel mouth uh, that's the position I need it in for the longer coaches to go around the curve without hitting it so I'm going to put another layer of polystyrene in there and fill it in and that and uh, this piece of plastic here I'm going to add more to it here to create the rockery uh, around this tunnel mouth uh, I think I'm going to create a bit of a level cross on here and a road going round and here I want to raise all this ground up again I'll probably use half inch polystyrene put it on um, dig a bit out in the middle. I want to make a bit of a lake or a pond and um, All this background here will have trees so make a bit of a park out of it and uh, Just keep it nice and simple. Like I say I wanted to practice doing scenery with this layout um, I kept this bit low here so So hopefully so it blends in with the uh, The back scene so I'll get a similar colored um, grass um, so I tried to create the hill here so that it looks like the trees and the uh, the old farmyard there on a higher level. Um, I've got a tunnel mouth to go on there. And um, at the back here I got a uh, little set of low relief uh, terrace houses, Metcalf kit. And uh, very nice little kit. Probably took me about an hour and a half to build. So. Nice and easy. I didn't put the bay windows or anything on because I just wanted to create a little set of a little two up two down um road terrace cottages like you'd have like little railway cottages. So um and then I've just put um these little stone walls here. I've just put them along the back of the back scene to give it the impression of uh you know that's the wall before the field and over there I'm gonna make a car park. Um going on to the station here. Um, I was actually going to cut this platform and angle to bring it right over to the back scene and um, while I was at Hattons to buy the um, Metcalf kit I also picked up a um, gutters and doors and windows kit so I can uh, touch up this uh, building here I want to have a go at doing it up I'm going to paint it up hopefully to match these houses and um, Hopefully that'll look smart. Another thing I purchased off eBay was this uh, Engage Ballast Spreader. I've got one for my double O layout in the loft and I think that does a cracking job. So just put your ballast in one across so we'll see if that's just as good as the double O version. Um, as someone mentioned on YouTube, I uh, he wanted the 4P running so I got that on the track with a couple of uh, LMS mainline coaches. So I'll have that running in a sec. And I've also got the uh, the 150 on the higher level. And uh, I'm hopefully doing the layout so that you know I can switch around. I can have the lower level as a heritage line one day. And the upper line as a modern line. And then the other way around. So I can just have it, you know, as um, I can run anything on it basically. That's the way I wanted to do it. So, uh, yeah, it's coming on quite nice now. We'll just uh, have a little look at the... Behind the back scene, you can see the two fiddle yards there, so I can get 
four small trains in. I put an extra point in there so I can put a slightly longer train in on the outer track on the lower level. But yeah, I think it's coming on quite nice and those back scenes stick great onto the uh, onto the um, boards that I've used and um, with the foam boards. So they stick that well that actually if you make a mistake you're knackered because I literally I think I pulled one piece off and put a put a whole new one back on but it's all trial and error. But yeah I'm coming I'm uh, getting happy with this layout now. So I just need to get myself some little figures and like I said create the car park area, put a few lines in and then so that's basically the end of the road, so I suppose you give the impression that the road's gonna carry on down this way. But yeah. Um, any ideas that you think I could add to this layout then uh, please drop a comment and uh, let me know what you think um, going back to the cork and the polystyrene any old packaging I just save a few pieces from um, a tube of that cork if you go to the right place like a window shop um, trade place you're probably paying £1.50 for a tube whereas b &Q, you might pay 3 or £4 but for something like this youtube would last you for ages um so yeah i'll uh i'll do a little running session so thanks for watching and uh please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll uh, add more pictures onto me facebook page so uh thanks again see you on the next one